Okay, good morning here from Pamukkale. I've just been asking the guy in the hotel. That's apparently the correct way to pronounce it. Pamukkale. I try to remember that. Thursday the 3rd of May. Today we're going to go and have a walk up there. To see the uh, hot thermal springs up there. Supposed to be good for people, skin ailments, rheumatism, arthritis, maybe even aching leg muscles. We'll see what it can cure. But uh, should be some ancient ruins up there as well, and ancient uh, bathing area from uh, that uh, Cleopatra used to use in ancient times. So it's good enough for her. I suppose we can use it today. So I'll go and have a walk up there and see what it's like. Okay, just on the way up the path here to the pools up there. From this point on you have to take your shoes off. So, do that and then we'll walk on up the path. My friend Klaus told us he told us to remember our sunglasses. I can see why now. We'd be completely blind if uh, we didn't have sunglasses on here. But, uh, really nice place. Seen quite a few places now in Turkey. The people in the hotels have told us that a lot of the European tourists have been replaced by Chinese. Exactly the same here. Completely flooded with Japanese and Chinese tourists with extremely fancy clothes on. Their clothes are completely boring compared to the clothes they wear to go on a day trip here in Amakolai. We need to put some. Uh, Nice your clothes on. Here comes the explorer, your t shirt and shorts. Messing it up. Need to dress up a bit, I guess. No makeup. I read yesterday that Homokolai is Turkey's number one tourist attraction. And uh, with thousands of people being shipped in from all of the all of the main tourist resorts, which are it's pretty close to the to the main resorts around the coast, so you can see they all come in on bus trips from the main resorts. Extremely popular place. This is the travertines we've seen on a lot of the pictures. It looks like they're all dried out at the moment. It must be spectacular to see when all these are filled with turquoise water. So, now we're entering the antique pool here. This is where there's some thermal waters we can bathe in. Let's have a look if we can get in here. If you're wondering why all of a sudden we look about five years younger, it's because we just spent two hours in this water behind us. We're supposed to be able to perform miracles and cure diseases and all kinds of things. So we've just been in there relaxing. Quite nice actually. It's, uh, nice warm water. You get these tiny, tiny, tiny bubbles on your skin that uh, just seem to appear from the water below. So that was quite good. Yes. Now we've been drinking the 
thermal water as well. I'll show you what that's like now. So, uh, maybe we get a bad stomach, or maybe we will be completely healthy and fresh. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to show you the pool. So lots of ruins in the water. All pillars and stones I have to step over. Quite interesting. The water from these two fountains is nasty drinky. Supposed to be able to cure all kinds of diseases. Go and have a look. <laughs> Cardiovascular diseases, skin diseases, rheumatic diseases. Stomach and bowel diseases, all kinds of things. <laughs> they claim you can heal with this water. So just filled up my drinking bottle and see what that tastes like. First time we've seen so many different cultures mixed together. We have Middle East, Asia, European, American people all mixed together in the same place. All doing their own thing. <laughs> This was definitely an interesting place to visit. See what nature can create with water and calcium. Fantastic. <laughs> About how it was in the western. So there are many things from England, the USA, and all kinds of Malaysia, Malaysia, New Zealand, I saw. New Zealand, mm -hmm. many things. Germany, Holland, New York, Norway, I saw. Brazil, no, Brazil, <laughs> Sweden, everything. Slovenia, Slovenia, <laughs> money. <laughs> Hmm. Australia, Australia, wow. uh, Tanzania, <laughs> all kind of things. Yeah, see? Well, the people have discovered this place long time before we did. <laughs> yeah, the no, family. Philippines. Philippines. The family. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, very well visited restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We had very good food in Turkey so far and at a good price. But we've just been to a restaurant now. <laughs> we can't stop laughing because we really been treated. We had like two tiny pizzas. <laughs> so we've done a Take it! Take it serious! But it was pictures of the teacup. Okay. <laughs> like, like this size and they cost what 37 
Danish corns that are £3.70 each and are this size and we think they're bought from a supermarket and frozen and that's what we had and I was a guy that like put us in from the street come on eat in my restaurant and he showed us his kiss and so beautiful. all his coins and then we had a plate of chips so it was also like this so we all came away okay so now first round number two yeah we'll try it again yeah so yeah, and the other western the men say, come in, come in, we have the most beautiful thing, you could be here, and it's good sunset, uh, good view, and... Was it good view? Yeah, okay. yeah. yeah, I mean, the half what he say is was real, I mean, the half was not, was not real. So now we are trying again. And maybe we are going to do this poll to 12 o'clock. <laughs> 12 o'clock? Yeah. Huh? Oh, you really been freaking out. That was really expensive enough for yeah. nothing. Yeah. And five French fries. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay. Not enough for three people that need fuel. So we'll try again. Okay. This time we succeeded. This time it's a properly freshly made pizza made in a pizza oven. What was hoping for the first time. <laughs> so. Bigger than the oven, bigger than the other one. Freshly made and cheaper. Half the price. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow we'll bike uh, 20 kilometers to the next main town which is called Denzili and there we have to try and get some uh, passport photos taken that we can use for our application for the Iran visa so it's time to get that sent in now so um, tomorrow we'll just bike there and uh, try and get that sorted out so it's only a short bike ride tomorrow and then mainly just spend the rest of the day trying to get our Iranian visa application sent in so well, that was a good uh, day here in Pamukkalai managed to get some food in the second restaurant it's the first time first time we've actually been to a restaurant and uh, didn't wasn't given enough food to even fill us up we couldn't afford any more food that was too expensive so maybe that's the problem when you're in these tourist places that uh, the food is nowhere near as good as what we've been eating when we're out in the countryside and in the more authentic restaurants so not always best to come to tourist places but uh, it's worth coming to see the to see all the calcium stones here and the pools up there that was a that was a nice day so that's it, we'll uh, be back on the bikes again tomorrow, a short trip to Densily. And after that we're going to probably 80 kilometers again onto another lake, which uh, looks like a really nice place, but one of the extremely beautiful places in Turkey. We'll be camping there, so uh, that should be good. But uh, tomorrow's just a day of practical things, so okay, how was it today?